This program is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. I'm Keith Warren. I'm a hunter, a fisherman, I'm throwing a big old bait because I'm looking for a big old fish, a conservationist, oh come on, a family man, and I'm proud to be a deer farmer. I'm taking a road trip and we're going behind the scenes of today's most innovative deer farmers and wildlife management operations in North America. This is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Located less than 45 minutes from the hustle and bustle of downtown Austin, Texas, lies the small town of Elgin. And there's a place right outside of that town that might as well be like, well, like driving to another continent. It's called the Eight Point Ranch. Now normally on Deer and Wildlife Stories, we feature places that, well, the, that have got great big white-tailed deer in the Eight Point Ranch, well, they got a lot of them. But what the Eight Point Ranch is best known for is there a wide variety of exotic species from all over the world. If you're a Texas landowner and you're looking to populate your own property with exotic animals, you'll want to pay close attention to today's show because this place is a one-stop shop. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Check this out, Eight Point Ranch. I mean, big old white tails everywhere, and I know I was running late. I got here about an hour late. My cameraman was here. Oh, the great big red stag. Look at this guy right here. Last time I saw one of these bad boys, I was in New Zealand. Look at this. This is a authentic New Zealand red stag, but living in Texas. And you may be thinking, a New Zealand stag in Texas? Yep. Most red stag in Texas don't get this big because they don't have that strain of New Zealand blood in them, but they do here. And I'll tell you, there's something else over here I saw in New Zealand too. A great big fallow buck right there. And I jokingly say to people, fallow deer come in three flavors. <laughs> this one right here, my friends, is a spotted. Look at this, they come in chocolate, white, Big palmated antlers, lots of points on them, nice old front tines on them. And I saw these over in New Zealand. And not only do they have New Zealand red stag here at the Eight Point Ranch, and great big fallow deer at the Eight Point Ranch, they've got three dozen species of animals all over the world. And the Eight Point Ranch exists, well, it exists to help propagate the species of animals and get animals on other people's ranches. y'all I think that's Keith's truck right there hey Keith how you doing I'm doing fine how are you doing good good to see you, good How's to see the trip? you. hey Leah hi Keith hi good glad to you see made you. it this is the owners of the ranch Bobby Gerland hey Bobby hey, Keith. and his his wife Renee Gerland hi, hey Renee you? I was kind of munching on a cookie <laughs> I'm sorry about that <laughs> We'll leave you with Renee and Bobby to go around and take pictures of animals and do whatever you, okay. do whatever you want to do. Yep, you're going to ride with me, I'm going to give you a hard time. All right, I got to go get another cookie. You probably do, you need it, I know it now. <laughs> we got to have the supplies for the road, no doubt about it. All right, kind of. We're going to take this excursion here on the right. Oh, that one? Yes, okay. sir. Nice balmy day. Of course, these animals ought to feel at home. A lot of them from Africa, huh? A lot of them are from Africa, and it is extremely hot. They've acclimated well, so that's a good thing. I'm a big believer in landowners have to do something to make money off their land. Whether they have a fishing pond or whether they have a bird watching. Some people raise different kinds of animals. Uh, cattle, horses, sheep, pigs, goats, whatever. Sure. But you choose to raise exotic animals. Explain why. Exotics to me are something that they're just beautiful. 
beautiful to watch and beautiful to enjoy and always wanting to be around them. That's why we picked the species and have enjoyed every single one. So why in the world do you call it the Eight Point Ranch? You know, that, that goes back to something my wife came up with. She says, we need to come up with something that represents all the animals in the continents and where they come from. And basically she said, well, why don't we name it after something that comes up with eight points on the compass? And I said, well, that sounds good. We'll call it Eight Point Ranch then. So Sounds that name came me. into being, has been there ever since. I mean, I was looking around a lot, you've got some great deer, you're very well known for deer. Our TV show is very well known for featuring deer and deer farmers. And you're a deer farmer, but yes, you we happen are. to also be an unbelievable steward for other animals, not just the servant animals, not just the white-tailed deer, but... Thank you. Always enjoyed being around animals my whole life. And it more or less became a dream of me and my wife's to have a ranch one day of our own. All right, now we're ready to go out and look at animals. I know we'll be in good shape. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by the American Deer and Wildlife Alliance, Deer Guardian Misting Systems, Four Canyons Ranch, Hoffpower Polaris, and LE Fence Company. Welcome back to Deer and Wildlife Stories into a place, well, it's like driving through a gigantic zoo. It's called the Eight Point Ranch, and it's in Texas, where ranch owner Bobby Gerling is taking me around the place and showing me their wide variety of exotic animals. Got a black buck over here. We've got two of them. Black buck are native to India, highly prolific. It takes very little of these to stock your ranch, and once again, they do great in Texas. An average black buck male will run 16 to 18 inches. Black buck for us are one of the mainstays for our ranch and do very well on your ranch. Axis deer. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you what, they're wired up. The Robert says they're wired up more than an eight day clock. You they know. are wired like an eight day clock. I'm telling you what, they, they, they can get it on. They're kind of hard to work with, aren't they? They're very hard to work with. They're probably the hardest animal on the ranch to work with, but they're highly sought after. Axis deer do so well in our habitat here that it's it's ridiculous. They multiply and multiply and multiply. Very hardy. They're they're a beautiful animal, but for those people that want them to to look at them, that's what you sell your deer for, huh? Mm -hmm. It is. Got two peer David over here. Both these are two year olds. These are beautiful animals from Mongolia, China. They do well in Texas, but they do love water. Okay, what are we looking at here? These are Ginsbach They're from Africa. They're probably one of the most popular plains animal there is, and they do very, very well in Texas. Even when it's 104 degrees outdoors, it doesn't seem to really affect them. Overall, the animals themselves reproduce approximately once every nine to 10 months. Once a female has a baby, she'll breed right back. They're very hardy. They require very little care. And overall, they just are one of the most beautiful animals we carry. And, and the males and females have horns. Yeah, you can tell both of them have horns. And they carry the young are out here with them. I mean, the mask on their face is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. And so do the females get bigger horns than the males? They can, you know, I mean, both of them are gonna grow equal horns. The difference is a male will have a little bit more mass on his horns, so typically they won't get quite as long. Okay. Hey, do you have any blessed butt? We have a lot of blessed butt. All right, can you take me to them? Yeah, they're just right around the corner. All right, good deal. Let's go look at them. All right. We have a nice herd of blessed buck out here, very beautiful animal. Once again, it'll give you a baby every nine months to a year. Blessed buck are easy to care for and just another treasure to have walking around on your ranch. You can tell by the babies that uh, they do very well on this ranch. So in Texas, they should do well on your ranch as well. The last time I saw those rascals, I was in the Eastern Cape <laughs> of South Africa. That is pretty cool. Coming down here to Central Texas and actually being able to see the same animals I was seeing on the other side of the earth is incredible. And they do so well here. They do very well. This herd is growing. You can see all the babies. Well, actually what I'm finding is that a lot of these African animals do a whole lot better in the Texas climate <laughs> than, than do some more Texas like their home with. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. You have any zebras? We have zebras. All right, take me to the zebras. You got it. We'll go do zebras. <laughs> well, we found the zebra. They're off to our right. Another highly sought after animal. You know what, I don't understand. But everybody that calls up, one of the first thing they ask is, do you have zebra? <laughs> they got zebras. <laughs> we got a lot of zebra. And they're absolutely beautiful. And it, 
to me, it's one of the most majestic creatures. And when you're out driving around, you're sitting there going, okay, they're black and white. You ought to be able to spot them anywhere, right? And I'm out riding through the pasture. Some days I can't find them at all going, well, how can you hide a black and white zebra? They got to be bred. Some of those females, big bred. Look how heavy bred they are. It's really amazing. Yep, little uh, baby. That one there, probably one month away, they're going to pop. Okay, here's one for you. You got any all dad? Oh, plenty of all dad. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go Big see some all dad. You got. Y'all have never seen all dad. You're not gonna believe what all dad looks like. We got plenty of all dad. <laughs> trust me. In a million years, I wouldn't have bet you could do that. I told Bobby, I said, if you can drive us up where we've got all dad like that, you're a better man than I am. Because I guarantee you, all dad. That's awesome. And look at the size of some of those big old rams. I mean, I that. Know. Now, Odd are from North Africa. They are from North Africa. Okay, and they love it in this kind of stuff. They thrive. You know, I heard in North Africa that they can survive on a cup of water a year. I believe it. Right they, now, they're having to, aren't they? they yeah, yeah. I mean, a drought <laughs> like this in Texas, I mean, the sun is overhead. Look at there. Look at the elk right there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what the heck, up. Bobby? Well, they're cutting right across in front of us. They're volunteering. They know they were <laughs> <laughs> sitting here looking at the all dead and all of a sudden. You know, there's probably 350, 360 class elk. I love them. If somebody wants to get a hold of the Eight Point Ranch, give them your information. All right. Call me, Bobby Gerling. My phone number is 512-423-0362. You can also go directly to our website. It's either Eight Point Ranch, E-I-G-H-T-P-O-I-N-T, -I -I Ranch, R-A-N-C-H. You can spell it out or you can put the number, Eight Point Ranch. We'd love to talk to you. Call me anytime. And if you come out here to take a look at these animals, make sure and bring a camera with you. A lot of video. Yeah. And your checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby wouldn't find the checkbook. Either way, we're going to show you a lot of good animals. <laughs> got elk, got all that. <laughs> Let's go see. Uh, have you seen zebras? Surprise me. All right, we'll go show you a bunch more. You got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you in part by the North American Deer Farmers Association, DNA Solutions, and the North American Deer Registry, New Dart, SNS Whitetail Galore, and Sage Capital Bank. Welcome back to Deer and Wildlife Stories and to the Eight Point Ranch only 45 miles due east of Austin, Texas. I'm going on a tour and seeing more exotic animals here than I've seen on any ranch in my life. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna hook up with Robert in a little bit if you don't mind. No, no, Robert, love, he's gonna show you a whole bunch more stuff. Yeah, I wanna get him to show me those reds. Yeah, <laughs> you'll love those reds here. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this, Robert. This is the most incredible thing and all these are New Zealand strain red deer. Yes, sir. Golly, I can't believe this. I don't, how many of them are in here? There's about 150 to 170. Okay, but what's the deal with the different tags? I mean, I look at them and think I see different tags on the, them. The purple tags are, are yearlings, the red tags are two-year-old, and the black tags are three-year-olds. Nothing in this pasture is over three years old. How do you look for what could potentially be a trophy class animal? I look for the multiple points on the crowns. Your typical Texas tag only has three points on each crown, which makes them a six by six. If you'll notice, most of these guys at age two and three have at least four points on each crown on the top. Uh, some of them have multiple brow tines. You look for width, look for mass. And what's the deal with the mud on them? That's the wonderful <laughs> Texas heat. These things, they get in the lake over here and this lake over there, and they roll around in the mud. It helps cool them off. The red stag love this, love this uh, habitat, though. Exactly. I mean, they, they really do. They're, they, they're awesome. They've done, they've done so well here. I mean, people may be watching this show think, okay, these animals right here are going to get bought, and somebody's going to take them out and shoot them. That is not the case. No. That is not the case. These stags are used to propagate on other people's property. Exactly. And when somebody calls us up or they want to come out here and be able to pick out their own stags. The problem is it's so overwhelming. Most people come in here and they, they get so blown away, they're like, Robert, pick for me, please. <laughs> you, you do this all the time, pick the animal for me and I'll go through and I'll, I'll pick my favorites out and we'll ship them to them. And I know y'all have got an incredible number of fallow deer and I say fallows come in uh, three kinds. You have chocolate, you have spotted, then you have vanilla, white ones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. How many of them do you have? I think we have approximately 300 head of fallow. I can show you just about anything that you want to want to see. All right. Take me to the fallows. 
The thing I do like about fallow deer is that they are docile and they come in a variety of colors and they have those cool palmations. But the deal is with fragmentation of land and piece of property, that means getting smaller and smaller and smaller now, people want to have wildlife on it. So they're erecting fences. They could be eight foot fence, could be a four or five foot fence. Well, fallow deer, you don't have to have an eight foot fence to keep fallow deer in it or a lot of species that you've seen on today's show, do you? You sure don't. Okay, well, what about as far as licensing goes? Because I know if we're gonna keep white-tailed deer in the state of Texas inside pens, they have to be licensed and all. You do have to go through a lot of paperwork. But as far as with exotics, what do you need to do? Out in the country, you're, you're welcome to put any type of exotic that you want. Okay, so if somebody wants more information, if they want to stock exotics, uh, what, they, what should they do if they, after watching this show? Give us a call or go to our website and contact us via the email at 8pointranch.com. Robert, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store here. I don't know what <laughs> I want. I mean, they, unfortunately, I do have a limited budget. I'm not like the government. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I've got to say, okay, what I want. Let's see, I want two of those and three of those. Just wondering when was the last time you ever sat down and thought how lucky you are. How lucky you are to have been born in America. We were so blessed from our creator that I think a lot of us take things for granted. I mean, look at the open spaces of our country and our natural resources that we are so blessed with to have in abundance. I think that we need to sit back and we need to appreciate what we've been blessed with and we need to also protect it for future generations. You hear on the news all these talk, people talking about being green people and the green movement. Well, I think that hunters and fishermen and true conservationists are, we're the green movement. We're the people that are putting our money where our mouth is. We're taking care of our planet. We're teaching people about the outdoors and we're helping to protect these abundant spaces for generations to come. So the way I see it, next time you got some quiet time, sit down and think about how lucky you are to have been blessed and born right here in America and make sure and do your part to protect the future of this great country. For more information on the American Deer and Wildlife Alliance, please join us online at DeerWildlifeAlliance.org. There you go, Keith. No, 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 I just had a cookie. <laughs> no, they're not for you. Come on in here. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> How y'all doing? Oh, isn't that good, isn't that good here? How can you not like this? Huh? How can you not like it? What, you got meat? What? Here, have one. Howdy. It's amazing, 45 minutes east of Austin, Texas, Eight Point Ranch, and every time you turn your head, you're gonna find another critter. Look at this. What are you doing down there, huh? Huh, hey, what you got, what you got? Got something good. Welcome back to the Eight Point Ranch, where ranch owner, Bobby Gerling, is gonna show me something really special. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. I like the fun part. You've been waiting all day long. Yeah, I have. This is incredible. On our left over here, we have Lucy, and on our right, we have Ricky. Hey, Ricky. How you doing, big boy? <laughs> Look at that tongue. He is huge with the tongue, isn't he? <laughs> and you sell giraffes? We can get giraffes for them, absolutely. Now, how old are they? Well, she is a little over three and a half years old. He's a little over four and a half. You can tell the girl. difference in size. I mean, just you look. Sure I love my job. I mean, I get to meet people that love animals as much as me. There you go, you come boy. out here, I promise you, you're going to like this. I mean, this is like going to another continent, and it's what, 45 miles from Austin, Texas. It is 45 minutes from Austin. Golly. But driving around, I see you have emus. Okay. Nope, Rias. <laughs> well, you have emus too, don't you? No, all Rhea birds. No oh. emus whatsoever. Really? Those are Rhea's? Uh, every one of them's a Rhea. The Rhea's are the best bird in the world that we have found to solve your grasshopper problem. I hate poisons. We got a lot of animals out here that have to eat off the land. I don't think poisons do them any good. We decided that we would come up with something that nature would work with us on. The Rhea's great. He puts his head down, he goes to eating, before you know it, you go from where you have 200 grasshoppers per square foot to none. The eggs are all put into a clutch. They're about six inches long. And I've seen up to about 40 eggs in the nest that the male's sitting on at any point in time. He will sit on the nest, not the women, but the male. And when the babies hatch, 
they take care of them. They follow them around. It's, it's kind of neat. But you also sell Rhea birds? We sell Rhea's. We got a bunch of them for you if you need them. <laughs> Once you get them, you'll really appreciate them. That is absolutely incredible. And we haven't seen but a handful of species here on the Eight Point Ranch. And, you know, looking back at that red stag, the one in the lodge, uh, log on to my Facebook page. And if you wind up, if you're the closest person to guessing the score of that New Zealand red stag from Eight Point Ranch, we'll send you something pretty cool. A man's best friend is a dog. This is Robert's dog, it's Izzy. But Izzy's best friend, I'm gonna show you, is right here. Go get him, Izzy, go get him. Go get him. Come on, Izzy, get him now. Get him, bring him out. There you go. <laughs> go get him. <laughs> Izzy, Izzy. And you think that's unusual? You haven't seen anything yet. These aren't rocks, folks. That right there is an African tortoise. You wouldn't want to get your fingers in his mouth, I can promise you that. Come to the Eight Point Ranch and there is no telling what you're gonna find. If y'all want more information on contacting the Eight Point Ranch, you can go to eightpointranch.com or you can log on to our website. We'll have a direct link to theirs. And let me hear from you on Facebook. Let me hear about what you think about Eight Point Ranch, about our show. All right, buddy, I'm gonna leave you at it. We'll see y'all next week. If somebody wants to get a hold of Eight Point Ranch, give them your information. All right, call me, Bobby Gerling. My phone number is 512-423-0362. You can also go directly to our website. It's either Eight Point Ranch, E-I-G-H-T-P-O-I-N-T, -I -I Ranch, R-A-N-C-H, you can spell it out or you can put the number, 8 Point Ranch. We'd love to talk to you. Call me anytime. Before you make your next Polaris purchase, you owe it to yourself to check out the number one Polaris dealer, Hoffpower Polaris. Log on to KeithWarren.net for 24-7 access to more information, more video, and full episodes. Reproductive services for deer and wildlife stories provided by Dr. Ray Favero's Whitetail Genetics.